Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. And today I am showing you how I take my lace frontals from weak to fleek. Yes, honey, have you looking natural out here? All right. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so this is just some of the things that you're gonna need. Obviously some uh, plastic gloves to protect your hands or rubber gloves, rather. This is just a mixing bowl that I got from Sally's as well as an applicator brush. Here's a spatula. Of course, we're gonna need our lace frontal over there in the corner. There's also a razor and you're gonna need powder bleach. I'm using the Kaleida colors in the color blue. Also, you're gonna need some developer cream. This is in volume 40, which is maximum lift because I don't have patience. And some neutralizing shampoo as well as a really good pair of tweezers so we can pluck that hairline. Some clips to clip the hair back. T-pins to hold the lace in place. Aluminum foil to cover the work area and help the processing. And this step is optional. This is Shimmering Lights shampoo. I find that it helps to tone the hair a little bit. Um, or the knots at least to avoid the brassiness. And this is just a leave-in conditioner. You can use the one of your choice. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the frontal looks like beforehand. This is what a standard frontal looks like. Most of the time, the hairline is very thick, which is good to have, cause you know, you want all the hair that you can get on there. But um, it doesn't look very realistic. If you were to put this on your head as is, uh, people would be able to tell that it is a wig. And we don't want that, right? So. Uh, we're going to actually bleach the knots on this lace frontal as well as pluck some of the hair out of the hairline just to make it look a little bit more natural once you put it on. So starting off with the aluminum foil just to cover my work area, I'm going to comb the hair back and make sure it's out of the way and then I'm going to clip it to make sure that it's out of the way. We only wanna focus on bleaching the knots, so we just definitely wanna make sure that all the hair is secured back and out of the way of the bleach. Next, I'm gonna turn the frontal over and lay it nice and flat and start prepping the bleach. So I'm gonna use two scoops of this Kaleida Colors. Um, yeah, I think it is Kaleida Colors. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of developer in. Now the consistency that you want is going to be similar to I'm gonna say cornbread batter. If you guys have ever made cornbread, I know that's a weird analogy, but seriously, like muffin batter. Not really like soupy or anything like that, but just nice and thick so that way it doesn't drip through the lace and over bleach your knots. Once everything's mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and take my spatula and I'm just going to light-handedly apply an even layer all across the lace. Now the purpose of doing this is we want the lace to bleach the knots. The knots is where the hair is actually tied onto the lace. There is a black dot there. And what we're trying to do is bleach that black dot just enough so that way it blends into our scalp and looks as if the hair is growing out of our scalp and not attached to lace. So once everything is nice and covered, I'm just going to close up the foil to help that bleach process. Now I'm not pressing down on the lace and I'm gonna go ahead and let it process for about 30 minutes. Now once it is done, you can definitely check to make sure that your knots are bleached, but I've done this enough times to kinda know the routine by now. And what you wanna do is just take some warm water and rinse really, really good. Now, even though the bleach stops processing once the water hits the hair, you wanna make sure that you rinse all of that bleach out and then follow up with a neutralizing shampoo to definitely stop the coloring process just in case any of that bleach is left in there. If any of you have ever gotten a perm, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much the same process. After I'm done shampooing with the neutralizing shampoo, I'm gonna go in with the Shimmering Lights shampoo. I kinda did that off camera and just use that to shampoo as well and that's gonna help avoid the brassiness. Um, after that, I did condition and then I just added my deep, I'm sorry, my leave-in condition in and I'm just gonna comb the hair out so I can check the roots just to make sure everything looks the way that it's supposed to. And look at that, oh my goodness, yes, honey. It looks like my arm is growing hair out of my arm scalp. 
<laughs> so that's what you want it to look like. You want to be able to see through the lace and you want it to look super natural. So next I'm going to go ahead and pin my frontal to my wig block and I will leave a link to this down below. And I'm just taking out that hairline, a very thin section because what I'm going to do is cut my baby hair first. Now you'll see me cut it a little um, longer than normal baby hair would be and that's okay because I am going to cut it a little bit shorter once I get the wig on my head. But for right now I would much rather have the hair be too long than too short because you can't come back from <laughs> too short baby hair. Now taking your tweezers, I'm going to go ahead and start plucking. As you can see, I went behind the hairline and I'm just going in like a three pattern. I'm skipping over each section and just kind of plucking out maybe three to four hairs in each section. And I'm going to do this all over the head. And what this is going to do is create the illusion of a natural hairline. So that way when you put the wig on, it doesn't look so bulky and thick around the perimeter of your head. Now brace yourself because this does take some time. You might want to put your show on, listen to some music, grab a snack, a water, a drink, something. Because this definitely takes some time to do. And you want to be really, really careful when you're doing this part to not take so many hairs out of uh, one particular spot. And not to focus so much on, you know, any one particular area. Because what you don't want to do is give yourself a bald spot or the illusion that there are no edges on the wig. Because, I mean, the purpose of the wig is to save your edges and not make it look like you have no edges. So you can see the difference already. Look at the other side of the wig versus the side that I'm working on. It looks a lot more natural. And I'm just going to speed up the process here because I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch me pluck for an hour. Something about plucking is very therapeutic to me. <laughs> So I'm just pluck, pluck, plucking. You see me kind of going in and out of the hair there just to pluck some random areas. Next, what I'm going to do is part the hair into sections horizontally and just kind of go up and down the parts and start plucking there too. Just to kind of make it overall a little bit less dense instead of only focusing on the hairline and then having the hairline super, you know, thin and then the rest of the hair thick so I'm parting and just doing the same thing and you guys can see the progress so far the hairline looks a lot more natural and then in the areas that you know you want to check your progress as you're going and then once you see the areas you'll start to notice like where it looks a little bit thicker and non-natural just go in and just pluck a couple hairs out so this is everything that I took out. <laughs> a lot of hair, but that's okay because we still have hair on the frontal. And it looks super duper natural. So as you can see, you can part it, you know, really anywhere. The baby hairs are there. For those of you who love baby hairs. And just a little bit more in-depth view of the parting. That's what everything looks like up in a ponytail. And if you guys remember from my previous video, I will link that here as well on how I apply my lace wigs. This is what they pretty much look like once they're on my head. Super natural and undetectable and that's how I like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it helped out a lot. If you guys are making your own wigs, definitely stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to show you how I do that. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.